Right, on this one I'm going to show you how uh, I use some special effects on Pinnacle 12. Um, first of all I'm going to start off by taking any uh, particular piece of film. On this it's just a, a beach holiday time. And then I'm just going to go to where I've loaded my special effects. These are like an explosion uh, special effect. I click on one and then highlight them all and drag them down onto the timeline here as you can see and then release you'll see that they all go online there I then right click clip properties and then change the duration as you can see the duration is set at the moment at 4 and what I'm going to do is change that to 1 as you can see, as soon as I do that, all the clips then go into in one piece like that. And then I'm going to drag the clips down onto that line where you would normally use something like a, a chroma key and release it. And there it is on there. Now what that will give you, you can even close this down now. But what that will give you, if I can just show you there, is this effect. Now, you might think that's uh, great for just put, putting an explosion in. You can do many things with that. You, if you can, you can just highlight back to that again, and then you can go to your effects module, uh, and then you can go to the chroma key or picture in picture, and you can actually move the explosion about to wherever you want it so if you want to blow up that umbrella you move it to there and as you can see on there the explosion will take place there and then obviously if you want to play it that's the effect that you'll get obviously you can do that wherever you like the effect for that particular one is better if you uh, obviously got a still picture all right so we have that you can obviously as well you, you, with using you can crop it or scale it so you can make the explosion bigger or, or smaller or move it to wherever you want if you you can also then go to if you can come out of that you can then go down to where your sound clips are and say uh, I've got these ones up at the moment but um, I've got T-Rex roaring but I mean if I put that down to the timeline there in any one you like then as soon as you get the explosion and everything you're going to get the actual roar as well so you get I'll just show that again I'll just go back to the beginning and I've got that just messing about and that's where I moved it to the second part of the explosion but if you do it again and that's just a simple way of doing the um, putting in a special effect on Pinnacle 12 uh, well I'll, I'll just show you something again on this and that is when you get you go up to get your picture from up there once you've got your picture you drag the picture down onto the timeline so you've got the picture on the timeline then you go to photographs because these are all stills now if I picked all of these off highlighted them all in fact so I select all because there's seven pages there and I drag them, most very important that you put them onto the timeline and not onto the uh, where you would chroma key line is. If I just left them on there and then played them, as you'll see, all, all, all you'll get as you go through is the different photographs. So it's just appearing there. When you get to the next photograph, it's a bit more. And so you're going to get no effect whatsoever, which is the reason for why we once again we highlight as that you can see they're all highlighted so then we right click on it clip properties at the top there once you get the clip properties up you go and change that to 0001 like it is one to zero one when you come back down again that's all condensed into one movie but whoops push that too far and do that change duration you just grab it then drag it down to the next line or so you just wanted it 
depends where you want to put it. I put it right at the beginning because it was quite still there. And then I go to, so I've got that in there. Then I go to some sound effects. Again, I can go back up to sound effects and get, well, where's explosions? So, I mean, there's explosions there. So with all my explosions that I've got, timer grenades, does that sound good? That's not too bad, isn't it bigger? Yeah, we'll have that one. So we drag that one again down to the timeline where the explosion's gonna go off. And I'll turn it up a bit so you can hear it. And here we go. And there you go. That's just a quick demonstration of I've had loads and loads of these effects I've got from T-Rexes and storms and snow and, and to twisters and space and uh, skeletons walking about. Whichever one you want to use, I seem to, I have I do have them so if anyone is interested just drop me a line and we'll sort something out. Okay, thanks a lot.